Hello class, and as part of my English project, I'm going to be showing you in much more greater detail how milking machines work. Now, this is a herringbone type milking powder, and I'll show you lots of all these different types in my English project, but we'll continue on down here. This bit is called the pit, and this is where you stand when you're milking the cows. So, what happened is the cows would come up down here, and there's ten on each side, okay? And the cows would go in there, and they'd stick their head, and they'd stick their head in here, and then nuts would fall from down here out of this place here. And I'll show you what nuts are out in a minute. Uh, but when you're down here, what happens is the cows would come in here, and its other would be here. So you take this, this is called a pincher, and you'd put it on, and you put it on bit by bit. And this bit here, the cow's teeth, goes in there, and inside it pulses, and there's suction, which brings the milk out of the other into the milky powder and the pulse is provided by this thing here which is called a pulsator and this is this is one of the three super important things in milking powder it is this pulsator this cluster and a vacuum pump which is out the back and um, so the pulse which is provided by this pulsator and um, will go down through and it'll come in there through this pipe here and then this pipe here brings the milk out it comes out to here and then it comes up around and then into this metal pipe here uh, this metal pipe runs all the way down to the back, and the milk would bring it all in, and then it goes into this jar here. This jar, then it comes under the floor. Then it goes up under the floor, um, in here, to which this bit is called the dairy. Now, the dairy here, this is where the milk sort of gets processed. Um, what happens is it comes under the floor again, and then up to here, and this, and it gets filtered here through this thing here, which is called the filtering sock, which is on a huge spring, which you can't see it, but. Um, and that gets filtered, and all the bugs and nasties get filtered out of it. And then it gets cooled here. It gets cooled so that it won't go bad, basically, like a fridge. Um, so if you're milking, this side of it's all warm because the milk is warm. It's just come out of the cow. And this side is freezing because it, the, the milk gets chilled down to about 4 degrees. And then it goes up, round about through this pipe, and then it comes out at this end of the pipe. But this end of the pipe is normally up in the top of the tank there, and this is the milk tank, or a bulk tank, and this holds the milk for usually two days until the milk truck, truck, truck comes and picks up milk out of it and brings it off to the dairy to be processed, even further, like into butter or cheese or into carbons to make your milk. So then round about here, this is where you control, this is where you control the milk tank, and at the moment we see the temperature of the milk is about 2.9 degrees. Um, so that means it's cool and it won't go off for about like nearly three weeks. So if we come round here onto the outside, um, we see this here is the vacuum pump and it's a bit rusty because our machine is kind of old, but it's a bit rusty. And this is it here that gets powered by this electric motor here, but through that, and this provides a vacuum to suck the milk out of the cows. And it goes. The vacuum comes in through that pump and then goes out into the rest of the thing. And the nuts, which are the cows are fed from, get stored in this huge bin here, okay? And the nuts aren't like cashews or peanuts or something. They look sort of like this. They're sort of more pellet-like than actual nuts. And the cows love these. These are basically like sweets that are good for you for cows. And that's basically how a milking machine works in about five-ish minutes. So thank you for watching and bye-bye.